Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about a more in-depth review of the Urban Southern Felt Tote Organizer. And this can be purchased on Urban Southerner's website. Excuse me, Urban Southern website. And it retails for $35. I do have a promo code that I will put in the description box below. Um, and I've been using this for about a month. It kind of looks a little beat up because it kind of attracted um, some leather, I don't know if this would be shavings from a bag I'm currently using, so it looks a little bit dusty, but this toe organizer is amazing. And I have been originally a pouch girl before I started trying this mechanism. I would say pouches still work the best when you're traveling. This eats up a lot of space, but for every day, for, um, Everyday use, running around town. I like my bags to be really organized. I wanna be in and out of my bag quickly. And pouches use less space. Um, they're more condensed. You can be organized by having a certain colored pouch for certain things. But I just, I feel like this might be my new way of doing things in my medium size bags. And um, so that I've just been kind of twirling this around, but you can see there's a lot of pocket options on the outside of the bag there's a nice full one right here this part of the organizer is removable you can see how thick that leather is i don't know if i'll pop my face into this video but you know if you've seen my channel you know what i look like and there's velcro here and here that coordinate with the velcro pieces on the divider so I'll just quickly put that back in. Um, I did weigh this once. It weighs seven ounces. And then when it's loaded up with my stuff, it was about 1.2 pounds overall. Okay, so this is everything that I want to organize into my tote organizer. Wait, how do I say it? This is everything I want to put into my felt tote organizer. And um, I kind of just walk you through how I do it. And there's your video. So I really like having a journal with me. This is um, the fake Majority Traveler's no Notebook from Hobby Lobby. I've been really enjoying that. And look at this, it fits perfectly right in here. I do wanna show you a couple comparison sizes. This is the iPad mini in the saddlebag leather case. That fits really nice. This is the personal size file effects. And of course that fits really good. So for now we're gonna do the Midori Traveler's Notebook, the fake one. Okay, so I have been putting, sometimes I put this wallet at the way end. This is uh, from Travelon, and I put this just standing up so it's the easiest thing to grab. So we'll do it at the end. But the center divides I'll fill out. This is a credit card holder, um, and I just have it filled with gift cards. I am blessed to have been given so many gift cards, but I always leave home without them. I forget I have them, and I'm trying to use them up. So I just put those here, and this is my, stuff it in there really quick. These are Bose headphones, and I got this for a Christmas present a year or two ago. Super light, and I don't always travel with headphones, but I find that I need them like in coffee shops, when you're trying to work on your computer, having private phone calls, and you're walking through the store and you don't want to hold the phone to your, you know the drill. Okay, these are some multivitamins that I like to carry with me. I take them at my house, but I forget a lot, so I like to have some with me on the road so I can grab them. This is something new I've been carrying. It is a magnetic flashlight. Oops, did that blind you? I'm very sorry. Uh, my husband got it as a stocking stuffer, and I thought this would be great to have in my bag. And it's helpful because if ever you're kind of looking in your bag and you can't find anything, you can open that. Um, this is something new I'm trying. I'm not sure if I like it. These are some Bluetooth headphones, but they're kind of cordless, so they just connect to each other. Um, and the thought there is sometimes when I'm 
really having a long phone call with somebody, I would rather have no cords dangling in front of me. But the Bose speakers have a better sound. Eh, now I'm carrying two headphones. Anyway, this is something that Mark got and I stole from him and I have it in my bag. So those two areas are filled up. Let's put the tissues. I've been kind of keeping them between the center. Two packets and then there's one more area here. Those have been there. I always need snacks, guys. Um, I feel like I have low blood sugar or like, a, what's that, iron deficiency? But who knows? Okay, cranberry, almond, cashew trail mix. That goes here. Here is a Michigan winning lottery ticket that we did not scratch off. That is not going back in here. I live in Missouri now. I missed my opportunity to cash that in. So let's move on to, I have a handful of pens. These are my favorite pens. This is a newer pen that I'm trying to have in rotation. It's kind of fun, but it skips once in a while, the ink. But I still really like trying it out. And then this is a pen that I need to get repaired. So that's why it's in my purse, because it's reminding me to go to the pen store. So I'm gonna put those in this, I hope it's not too black on black. There's a pocket here and a pocket here. So all the pens will go on one side. One thought about this organizer is that if you have your pens here, they're not floating around your bag and possibly leaking. And that's a very good peace of mind. Here's some lipsticks I have and mascara. This one's one of my favorite lip glosses from Revlon. And these two I'm trying out from ColourPop from Kathleen Lights. So those are Christmas presents and those all go in that coordinating pocket. Is this making sense? Okay, random things coming down the line. This nail polish does not go in there. Cell phone I sometimes put in the center one. Um, sometimes that's my wallet. Sometimes my wallet will have my cell phone in it. Like so. Okay. So I guess we could put that in there. So this kind of stands up, but that's okay because it's normally in a taller bag and it's just a faster in and out. My chapstick, where did I put that one last time? I think that goes along with all the lip glosses. No, let's put it by the pens. This is some ibuprofen. And that was on this side of the bag. This is a clippa where you hang your bag from this, from a table, in case it, you don't want to put your bag on the floor. I believe that one went here. Um, we're getting down a lot of smaller things. Mentos don't stay. They're giving me a headache. I, guys, I get headaches from Mentos. This hand sanitizer goes here. Um, this is, this showed up in a couple of my videos. This is a, a tick remover. I don't think I need this anymore because it's winter, but this was helpful because I was painting in the woods a lot and I was terrified of getting a tick. Okay, so we're down to these three things. This is some migraine medicine, some floss, and a hair tie. I'm trying to remember where I put this because I had this all unloaded. Um, let's put the hair tie in the front here. Let's put, am I still in frame? The floss right there. And the migraine meds can just kind of go into this. So Midori, the center pockets, and then there's these wall of pockets. But in between, there's that kind of pinched area. And we'll put that there. So this goes in my bag. My winter hat and winter gloves lays on top. But the thing about this, I switch my bags a lot. I use a tote one day, I use a messenger bag, I use a duffel bag, and I've been popping this in and out of every bag. And instead of reorganizing the bag, and a lot of my bags actually don't have a lot of pocket options. So this keeps me so organized. And on the way to the church, I was at a stoplight. Okay guys, and I said, Mark, could you please hand me my mascara? And he just picked it right out. <laughs> and he put it back and I said, can you hand me my chapstick? And he handed me that, and uh, we were at a stoplight. We were not driving at that moment. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. I've never tried an uh, organizer ever, so I cannot compare this to another one. 
Um, I really enjoy the integrity of it. I think it's light, but I think it's like a nice, sturdy material. I have seen ones that are nylon that are really floppy, but this one is just great. So thanks for watching. Check out the description box for, actually maybe in the description box I'll put the dimensions. I didn't look that up before I started talking. I'll put dimensions, the promo code, where you can buy this. And be, to check out, <laughs> be sure to check out other videos on my channel about leather bags. We did it. Have a great night. Bye guys.